I'm gonna show you my pick for the top three free video editing apps for iPhone. And I'm not gonna talk about iMovie here because I know you already had this on your phone. These are three apps that you probably haven't heard about and I'm gonna show you what they are in this video. Now, here's the thing, it's a new year full of new opportunities. That means there are new apps on the market, apps you haven't heard about. And let's be honest, when you're looking through the app store, you're looking for the right video editing app, there's a lot of apps to choose from and a lot of them are okay and a lot of them are garbage and I test a ton of apps. I download an unbelievable amount of apps almost on a weekly basis and I test them all. And the three apps I'm gonna show you today are my pick for the best free video editing apps for YouTube that you can use on your iPhone. I also wanna note that all three of the apps that I'm mentioning today do not have a watermark, so you don't have to worry about that. Free, no watermark, absolute win for you. So let's jump into it. The first app on the list is VideoLeap. Now VideoLeap has become my favorite video editing app as of lately. They've actually become a channel sponsor, so thank you for that. But the thing about VideoLeap is it's really creative, it's really intuitive, and it kind of gets your creative juices flowing when you put your video in there and you start tapping around to see what different things do. They've laid the app out really well. It's incredibly easy. You don't even have to watch any tutorials on it. You can download the app and figure out how to make some really cool looking videos in just a couple of minutes, but it does have some awesome features. One of the top features I know a lot of you are looking for is a chroma key feature or the green screen feature. That's where if you're shooting in front of a colored background, you can choose that color, erase it, and put something else behind you. Put an image behind you, put a video behind you, and it does that really well. It also works if you're making memes and you wanna erase part of the video or part of the image and put that on the video, it will do that as well. So green screen or memes, VideoLeap has you covered. VideoLeap also allows you to add multiple layers to your video track, and in case you're wondering what that means, because I actually get asked that a lot in comments when I mention about layering, is say, D, what is layering when it comes to video editing apps? Think of layering like a cake. You have your base layer of your video, and then let's say you wanna add another video on top of that, and maybe you wanna split it in half, or you wanna add a picture in picture, or maybe you wanna add an additional layer on top of that with some imagery or a subscribe button to come on top or a call to action. And maybe you wanna add a layer on top of that, right? That's video layer and you can build up in layers. And most free apps don't do this, but VideoLeap does and it's really easy to use using their mixer feature. You tap on mixer and you go and you add the image or the video that you wanna add up on the next layer, super easy. It has filters and effects and animations that can make your videos look really cool and this is really easy to use as well too. It also has a text feature. So you can add text and you can animate how it comes in and you can animate how it goes out. So if you're trying to add something down on the bottom that says subscribe now or check out whatever, you can do that and you can animate it and come in and come back out. I actually made a video where I showed you how to put your phone on this screen like you see right here. And I'll put a link to that video down in the description below. I use Video Leap for that. And I animated the phone so it zips in and it zips out. Really easy to do. Now, if you're just installing Video Leap for the first time, after you put it in, you're going to say, hey, they've got some premium features and I don't know if I want those or not. And it's entirely up to you. They do have some premium filters and some premium features. If you wanna get more things, that's entirely up to you. You can pay for them, or you can just keep using the free version. That also works well. You don't have a lot of limitations with that, to be honest with you. But if you do wanna download Video Leap, head down to the description. I do have a link down there. So click on the link, install Video Leap. I highly, highly recommend using this app. It's a lot of fun. The second app we're gonna talk about today is an app called Prism Live Studio. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I've made videos on Prism Live Studio in the past. Now, Prism Live Studio is a really good app if you're just getting started and you don't need the layers that I talked about earlier, you just need a basic editor to get up and running with. This is where Prism Live Studio comes in. It's very simple. They have free royalty, free music that you can add to your videos. You're not gonna have problems with copyright. They have sound effects, they have filters, they have all sorts of things that you can do with the app. Again, really easy to figure out. And I do have a video on my channel showing you how to use this app as well for a live streaming app. It does that, or as a video editing app. So if you're just getting started and you don't need all the layers, you don't need the chroma key, check out Prism Live Studio. The third app we're talking about today is a fairly new app that Justin Brown from Primal Video just told me about. The app is called VLLO or Villo. I don't know if you pronounce it like Villo, Vilo, or if it's just VLLO. Anyway, free app, no watermark. It has picture in picture that's really easy. It has animation, it has filters, it has music. Now the music is limited. And again, this is one of those apps that has free features 
that are, it's perfectly fine. And it also has paid features. So if you wanna unlock the paid features, you can do that and you can get access to more things. Now out of the gate, this app isn't as easy to use as the other two apps are. I think Prism, is great for beginners. I think Video Leap is also great for beginners, but it gives you more creative options. This app isn't necessarily for beginners and it might take you a little bit more time to get your head around it, but it is free and it doesn't have a watermark and it's actually a really good app. I'll also say that it took me a while to render out a video on this app. My iPhone 11 Pro renders Video Leap videos really quick. Prism Live Studio renders out quickly. This app, as good as it is, it renders a bit slower. So that's something to be aware of that may or may not happen for you. Now, this app, VLLO, and also Video Leap, they both have a voiceover option. So if you load up your video and you wanna do a voiceover, you can tap on voiceover and you can record your voiceover as the video plays and it will save it. So if you're looking for an app that will do voiceovers, VLLO and Video Leap will do that. All three of the apps that I mentioned today allow you to edit in different ratios. So if you wanna make a story or an Instagram square, or if you wanna make something for YouTube, you can do it in any ratio that you want. So all three of these apps have you covered there. And if you're wondering which one of these apps is the best app, that really depends on you. It depends on what you're looking for as an editor. It depends on your skill level. Look, this is entirely up to you. It's up to your needs and it's up to your device. You know, I haven't tested these out on older phones. I've been using an iPhone 11 Pro for these. They all work great on this device. But if you have an iPhone 6, I don't know. You're gonna have to put them in and see which one works best for your device your workflow and your personal needs for an editor. They're all free, check them out and see which one works best for you. Links down in the description below. If you wanna learn more about video editing with your iPhone or your iPad, go ahead and hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.